I've ever met in my life. And she wouldn't be who she was without the church, and I wouldn't be who I am without her. So everything that she's gotten out of the church, I've gotten. Because I get all the best sides of her. And I feel like oh, most of that has come from our Wanna Creek family. My parents marriage was a hot mess and very volatile and then he divorced and my dad remarried and I was the proverbial stepchild and um, never seemed to measure up no matter what I did so I just never felt loved and accepted and a part of um, a family. I always felt like I had to strive and earn love and and everything um, that should be naturally given to a child so it it was hard, but when I came here to Walnut Creek, I found that acceptance and that love from the people here. Nobody, I didn't feel like I had to be anything other than who I was. In the 20 years I've been here, I've never felt like I've um, had to be anything other than me, uh, flaws and all. Um, I've been allowed to be fabulous and flawed. And uh, it's been such a blessing because I have grown. I'm not, I'm not the same person I was before. Through my journey, I've learned that I am lovable, I am accepted, and, and this is where I, where I belong. Not necessarily only at Walnut Creek, but a part of God's family, the, the perfect family where um, you are who you are, and there is no judgment. Even when you fall and you stumble, there's someone there to pick you up, give you a good hug, love you well, and point you back to Jesus. And if you take a moment and you just listen to someone, and you look at someone, you can you can see their brokenness, you can see their need. And um, then just, if you just share your own love and compassion that with them, then they see um, Jesus lighten you and they see, hey, something's different about that. They're not judging me because, you know, I had, I have skeletons in my closet. Um, it's like, no, we're all, we all fall short, you know, and, and God's desire is to love you. And it's not about preaching to people, it's just showing them God's love, the love that he so has abundantly shown me. So, um, and I've grown so much, I'm now teaching um, uh, Thursday nights for our women's Bible study. I'm also a leader in the journey groups and um, God just seems to be opening doors left and right and growing me in ways that I can just love others as he loves me, and it's so exciting to be a part of that. There's always a feeling of acceptance. Yeah. There's, I don't think I've ever felt, if there are times in our lives where we've gotten really busy for a while, I was working on weekends, I missed a lot, and it was so wonderful to come back because nobody said, where have you been? They said, welcome back. Yeah. Um, I mean, we went to a growth group, what, two weeks ago, three mm -hmm. weeks ago, for the first time in probably two years. And it was just like we picked up, like, we were there last week. And well, it's like, hey, welcome back. Always this is great. Welcomed. You know? I mean, I've never been pressured to do anything at all in this church. But over time, I feel like I want to. Because I see others that are, that are doing that. And, uh, you know, you want to be a part of a good thing. And we, we like it. Well, even with uh, when you were losing pianists, nobody... <laughs> Nobody was like, hey, Jane, when are you going to? No, never. <laughs> you waited and waited, almost to the point where I thought, maybe they don't want me to play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was when I was ready. It is good to get involved, and um, it's not something that comes natural to me. So with the sense of community and family that we got from Walnut Creek, uh, Lisa and I, my, um, my wife, we've become more and more involved as time goes on. A again, we're both introverts, and this is not natural to us, but it's just been so easy since we've been at Walnut Creek. Everyone here, whether it's been hammered into by Pastor Steve or whatever it is, maybe the culture of this church that's just been gospel-saturated, we see, yes, you are hurting. That's why we're here. That's why we're here to remind each other of the grace of God. And that's one of the most wonderful things about Walnut Creek is that for all the things that we're going through, we are reminded of the gospel daily, not just through the pastor, but through all of its congregants, through all of us together, through our lives that we share together. That's one of the most beautiful things about Walnut Creek that I've found as I've lived here for, you know, four years. 
And so then we can, we can minister, we can be ministered to. So I can share and be open. Sarah can share and be open. But what has been beautiful is that even though I may not know someone's name, as I go and learn, there's still a comfort level at speak, with speaking with them and all of a sudden we're on the same team to serve. And it's not this, oh, we don't, we're not friends, we don't talk. It's just, oh, we've never been close enough to each other to talk, so now we can talk. And that's been a huge blessing for me.